Hello gorgeous Sagis, how are you going? This is your general read for the month of October. Sun, Moon, Rising and really anywhere in your chart that you have Sagittarius and are interested in. So let's have a look, see at where we be this month. We have intuition, always a good one for Sagis, using your intuition. Look at areas in your life that need decisive action. Search your heart for the right answers. Listen to messages that come from your intuition and follow through. Listening to messages is all good. The following through, a mm, bit of a struggle. Flow. You can't control life's events. You can only control how you deal with them. It's easier to go with the flow when life challenges you. Emotions can overflow unless you release them. But the water in this is very similar. This might be an emotion month for you, my loves. And play. Find time to incorporate play. So don't take things so seriously. Sagis have got a pretty good sense of humour. Lighten that up. But, you know, just take some time out to look at what it is you're really, you're really wanting. That light is very bright. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it at the moment. Right, so let's see where we're going. What have you been up to, Sedge? What have you been doing? Lots of planets coming out of retrograde. So if you've been feeling a bit stifled, a bit blocked this month, last the last few months actually, you can breathe a big sigh of relief. And um, be prepared to move forward soon. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles coming out. This is the independence, the success, and seeing things further down the track. Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. The White card. Seven of Swords. Queen of Wands. There you are. Eight of Swords. No overthinking. Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups. We have something clear, please. Death and Rebirth. How is that for a nice culmination of the month? All right. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles now in a lot of cards uh, decks. He's moving slowly. In this one, he's standing very still. And just in being in the now, just enjoying what is. And he's a, he's a bit contemplative. Um, he's kind of just pondering things, which is quite nice. And with the Seven of Pentacles as the um, obstacle card, it could be that, you know, being patient while things grow has been an obstacle. So you kind of feel like you've been watching the grass grow, um, but you don't realise that it, that has been necessary to feed what's coming up next. So don't um, be in too much of a rush just yet. At the foundation is the white card, which is... You are in full control of the direction. You, The world is your oyster and you can pretty much plan or not plan, but put it out there exactly what you want. And this is, this is quite beautiful. Plus it's using your intuition. So really listen to what's underneath. This is the foundation. So this is right underneath everything that's going on. Recent past Seven of Swords, there could have been some kind of shortcut I just got. I didn't get thieving or trickery. I got a shortcut. You might have been trying to take shortcuts to move this along um, and it hasn't, it hasn't worked. So now it's kind of slowing right down and listening to what has worked, what hasn't worked and where you could kind of tweak and, and move things in a better direction. And then just going with it, not trying to 
hold the reins too tight but just kind of let the let the horse go in its natural direction from here queen of wands at the head of the matter you are in your element and it's just saying you know the queen of wands is sitting down she's not up she's not ranting and raving she's not going full belt ahead she's just sitting there she's still very passionate still very um, prepared to take action and overseeing what she's created so she's not trying to you know dig up all of these and see how far they've grown she's watching them as they grow and still you know being prepared to step in and do what's needed to be done coming up though is the eight of swords if you feel like you're being blocked you could get too much in your head you could if you pause for too long you might overthink this intuition and you might start second guessing it you know this is what my intuition said but but is it right am i am i imagining this am i making it up and that's where the flow comes in you need to let go of this bound way of thinking and just trust very much trust that it will all come when it's supposed to come as it's supposed to come keep feeding it keep nurturing it and just breathe through this month you are in the ten of cups you feel pretty contented with the process so far you might be a bit frustrated at you know moving things along but this is your dream this is kind of what your heart's desire is and there is every opportunity around you for that to come in this is the ace of cups ten of cups ace of cups so this is your heart's desire and this is what's around you at the moment it is all there for you it, you know it's abundance of of feeling abundance of intuition if they're available for you the fear is that you will you might get a bit confused and you've got three sevens here so there's a little bit of challenge going on for you um, seven of wands is the only one missing and that's all about boundaries so maybe you need to put some structure and boundaries in place with yourself so that you know when you're rushing or when you're pushing things too far and when you need to pull back a bit so have a look at your boundaries this month as well the outcome is death and then the full now talk about the ending and the beginning this is complete and utter transformation so whatever it is trust your intuition trust that it is leading you in the right direction so even when you start overthinking this trust that whatever ends is bringing something much much better for you and you know sages aren't terribly afraid of a good challenge or a good adventure so maybe this is this is the obstacle is this almost feeling like you're sitting still and you're getting a bit twitchy don't do that just listen sit breathe listen and go with the flow this month my loves i will talk to you very very soon much love